Hello everyone, this is Magbo Gaming here, and today I'm gonna do an entire Wii U collection and the final one as well ever. I'm not joking. Why? Because I am going to be getting rid of more than half of my collection or around there. I'm downsizing my Wii U collection. Why is the reason why I'm downsizing my Wii U collection right here? Yep, there's some of my games I'll show you soon. Well, first of all, my Wii U gamepad battery has to be changed. It's taking up space. So what I decided to do, as you can see, I decided to put my Steam Deck dock there. So whenever I want to play my Steam Deck on the TV, I can easily do it now. So I finally have a space for it. So you get the idea. And then we have another reason why, well, most of the Wii U games are on Nintendo Switch already. So it's like, if it's on Nintendo Switch and it's better be played there, what's the point of me having most of these games sitting there taking space in my collection when I can make space for games that I really want and I cannot play anywhere else and I really want to eventually play it, right? I'm actually planning to downsize other games in my collection too in due time. Anything that is like very bad condition, or is games that I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna play anytime soon, that I have no passion for it, if I dig through the whole thing, I'll probably downsize my collection a little bit. My other thing is that any game that is $15 or less, I'll just trade it into a game store. If it's over $15, I'll sell it on eBay. I'm gonna try to get as much money as possible for two things, to buy other games that I want or to buy crypto. Yep, to buy more crypto for my long-term investments. Anyway, without further ado, let me show you first the games I'm actually going to get rid of. And then I'm going to show you the games I'm actually going to keep and the reason why. Okay, so Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, I decided to trade this in because it's just a plain Mario Tennis game. There's not really much excitement going on besides everyone turning big, I guess. I do not see myself playing this game anytime soon. And... I do want to play Mario Tennis Aces and I'm pretty sure that game and the GameCube and the N64 version are far superior as well. Mario Kart 8, no brainer. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You get the idea. Gianna Sisters, also on Nintendo Switch. There's a better version out there. Mighty Number no. 9, I heard the PS4 version is much better and plus I'm not really that big into Mega Man. I do like the complete package but... I don't think I'm gonna get into it anytime soon, so that's why. This is also on Nintendo Switch, that's why. This could be played on Vita or PS4. Other ways to play that is much better than playing on a Wii U. And as much as it pains me to say this, but I'm also gonna trade in these two as well. I love Star Fox. I love Star Fox 64. I love Star Fox 64 3D. But the force motion control and the fact that Nintendo still hasn't bought this on Nintendo Switch even after seven years after I was requesting it, it never happened. It could happen at some point, maybe on Switch 2, they'll finally put their crap together and then make a traditional brand new Star Fox game. But until then, I'm done with you, Star Fox. And this one, unfortunately, I never tried out, but I wasn't so sure about the game. Yeah, I like that Rob the Robot's actually in the middle of this cover art. I'm not sure if you noticed that. Yeah, but Star Fox been going downhill, so I'm very, very disappointed in the Star Fox franchise. But too, with all the online infrastructure and everything else going away, unless you have pretendo, this game ain't worth it anymore. And unfortunately, this is one of the games that kind of gives you motion sickness as well, so I say I just do away with it. Splatoon was a fun game while we're still online and while we're still able to play with people, but right now is eh. This is also on Nintendo Switch. This is also on Nintendo Switch, that's why I do plan to get the physical version of the this and the Bowser's Fury. Eventually, I will definitely get a physical copy of that on the Switch. The thing is that the Switch took a lot of reasons for me not to want to mess with the Wii U. But I have my other half of my collection that I'm gonna show you. That I'm actually going to keep in my collection for the foreseeable future. The reason why I'm gonna be keeping Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze in my collection because it's the more complete package. I really do enjoy Donkey Kong as a whole. I don't know, it's just, I do have it on the Switch, cartridge only, but I got directly from GameStop and GameStop's no longer in Puerto Rico, so you know how deep that feels. Game of Wario for obvious reasons. I'm a WarioWare fan. This is only on Wii U. It will never come on Switch, so you get the idea. 
Kirby and the Rainbow Curse is also a Wii U exclusive still, not on the Switch. And plus, I can see this game actually coming on the Switch one day, but who knows. It is Kirby. I love Kirby. I gotta collect all the Kirby physical games no matter what, so of course it's staying. More or less the same reason here. I collect all the Mario Party games, and you cannot play this anywhere else. Nintendo Land. This is what the Wii U was made for, honestly. And it's still affordable, but of course, this is only to be played on the Wii U. Amazing game. Color Splash. Wii U exclusive still. And I do want to play at some point. Super Mario Maker, the amiibo costume is only on this version of the Wii U. Plus, I have so much memories with Mario Maker. I really enjoy like you can actually make levels and play other people's levels as well. Even though that the online is dead now, you cannot download any other levels. But I guess this will be one of the reasons I'll try Pretendo on at some point. Plus I do like the red case of course too. Smash Brothers for Wii U. It has the manual and everything. It's the more complete package. So of course I do want to keep this. Tekken Wii U edition. This is the more complete with Nintendo costumes type of thing. You can't get it anywhere else, not even on the Switch. We Party You, Switch exclusive, very rare game, keeping that. This one I may trade it, I'm not sure yet, but I'm keeping it for now. This is coming on the Switch, but I think this experience is not going to be the same as the one on the Switch, so, or vice versa. So, since I'm a Xenoblade collector, I even have the 3DS version, I'm going to keep it. And then last but not least, Yoshi's Worldly World, even though there is a 3DS version for this as well. The game looks the best here, obviously, and there's no Switch version on this as well. So, here's the entirety of my Wii U collection once more before I trade half of these games into a game store. Most likely Game World. By the time I upload this video, I probably already have traded in. So, what you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As you can see, my Wii U has been put away. I have no use for a Wii U at the moment. But if I do get one of the games I'm looking for, a Wii Sports Club right here, I will most likely take on my Wii U again and play that at some point. But yeah, that's all I have to say. What you guys think about me like pretty much downsizing my Wii U collection by half pretty much. And then the other half I'm still gonna keep. And what do you think about the Wii U nowadays? Is it still worth having a Wii U these days or is it not worth it? My whole thing is that eventually the value of the Wii U is gonna go up, but only for the games that are exclusive for the Wii U. Because if if you could play it also on Switch, what reason does other people have to go back to the same games on Wii U when you could play on Switch? That's why all these other games are worth like $15 or less or something like that. So you get the idea. So yeah, that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I hope that you find the games you're looking for. If you're collecting for the Wii U, good luck. Because the ones that are actually exclusive are the ones that are going up in value. The ones that are not, they're like $15 or less, pretty much. That's the whole fact right there. So Magbo says, I hope you find the games you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Magbo Gaming out. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. Check these videos too that are related to what you just watched. I'm sure you will find some enjoyment there. You can also follow me on Instagram and support the channel via Patreon or buy my Magbo merch. Links below. Hope to see you again soon.